Hey Stampers, Gainer again and this is just a little walkthrough of the album I've uh, made and then the video will start shortly for you to watch how I made it so start to finish so this is just a little walkthrough of what we did what I did to the album so I did start off with this having a panel on the side and decided to remove it because no matter what I did it cracked it kept it just wouldn't shut it kept buckling so I removed it in the end and just placed over some of this gold paper to hide the joint. I've added some lace on the back and I've left it loose so you can t add another bucklet on the back and maybe tuck another little bucklet full of um, photos on there so you could do maybe three or four pages, tie them all with some beautiful thread and maybe slot that in at the back so I just added this gorgeous detail. I've added this beautiful flower and this tassel and the word love because, oh sorry, because it is a baby album. I think my camera keeps slipping down for some reason. So I've attached this with hot glue. I've added this beautiful, beautiful tassel. I would have loved it to have been as pink as these flowers. So I added the flowers on the front and I spritzed them with my shimmer spray. Our little miracle is obviously it's a baby girl. Um, I did these on the scan and cut, cut them out four times, glued them all on top of each other just to give it depth and then I went over with my marker pen in soft suede and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous, love it. I've got the gorgeous tag here which it is permanently on there and these cutter parts that were in the papers and I must admit out of all the papers I used seven sheets and this much because <laughs> this is a full sheet nearly uh, so seven sheets of paper and I've still got all these off cuts as well which I could turn into a card or maybe add them inside the book cut some more tags out make a card with these maybe to pop inside when you present your uh, um, album to whoever you've given it to or making it for so there's the papers left there, and I maximised all the papers that I had to the limit and I've still got one full pack and those left so I can make another one. So these flowers I had from the range, I just hot glued them on. I added antique corners to the front. I haven't done them on the back yet because the card is really wide so I'm going to have to get my husband to prise them open a little bit wider and then clamp them shut. So let's show you the first page. It's absolutely adorable. I love it. And on the inside cover is this beautiful closure. And it's got a little weight on there. And I've put a flower on because the, it was really long and I tied it up. And so I added a, a piece of paper on the back and hot glue. And this is a little magnet under here to weigh it down. So it just hangs down beautifully in there. And like a silly sausage, you know me, added those first and then realised I didn't put any paper on. <laughs> so what I might do is I might cut some DSP to fit under, but I don't know, it, it, it kind of looks quite cute actually. So I've added a really long thread on here. And inside you can get in from the top or the bottom and I've just added some photo mats in there there's two of these which you can add four by four photos on and like i say there's two so there's enough there for eight photos not only that you can go in from the top or the bottom like i'm saying i may put some thumb holes in there and there's a space there for a four by four and there as well so this little section alone will hold about 12 photographs Wait there, let me work that out. Eight, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten photographs just on this alone. So, and then this then keeps this all closed, nice and neat. And maybe you could just journal on those spots. So I didn't add it into the centre because I wanted to leave plenty of space for you to get in and out. You would have been struggling if it had been in the middle. So then this is our first page and this is hinged because of all that's going on in this album now. So I've got the decorative, I used the decorative punch 
I, this is a tuck spot and you can also tuck under here for your photos as well or you could oh I must have glued them right oh they used to be a tuck spot <laughs> okay they're not anymore but you've got a pocket there you could add a photo on there maybe stack a few more inside here add a photo on the back add little photos here even and then you've got space down here absolutely adorable and if I did it right no I glued him all the way down as well but this opens up this is our top flap again this is a tuck spot area and so is this under the balloon so you could get a nice full size six by six photo on there even maybe six by let's have a look six by six and a half easily so nice I did want to use elastic on this section but while I was making the album I could not find it for loving the money and then as soon as I finished I found it how typical is that I know isn't it so then these have got these flaps on the side again another tuck spot add a photo on the back add a photo on here it will tuck inside then you've got space here for a photo here large photo areas and another one this side then this section is absolutely gorgeous there's the balloons that i used as a tuck spot so you've got space here for a good six by eight photograph here you've got a lovely pocket down the bottom you've got these photo mats here which i cut out these are six by six so you'd get a couple of photos on each of these as well gorgeous tag i made at a hardboard space for a photograph on the back as well absolutely adorable i love this so let me just pop them in first and then they've got these gorgeous little tags you could add ribbons to these absolutely beautiful and then this slides back in the pocket so close close and close and that is page number one absolutely adorable i love this album so then we open it up it's a very very thick page this one so let's go to this side again place for photo mats the gorgeous little teddy and i've only stayed stuck him down in the middle so you can slide photos underneath add another photo add another one there a small one there so a space there for four photos then it opens up and you've got this humongous tag here you could add a, uh, a slim photograph on there then this opens up it's got a thumb hole here again space for a large photo you could add a photo here or even journal in this section add a photo on top of there add a photo there have i stuck her down she wasn't meant to be stuck down she was supposed to have lifted up but for some reason they've stuck but space here for a photograph a large pocket then you could add two three or four photo mats on there add a photo on there if you wanted and on the back of there like i say add some more i may cut up some more of these tags and put those inside so they can add a photo to each of these gorgeous tags and then they close i didn't put any magnets on this because this huge tag then keeps that place closed then on this side we've got space for two more photos and you can tuck your photo right underneath so i've just added a couple of tags add photos on the back so more spaces here and i've just lined them up absolutely gorgeous another huge space for photos love it this then I didn't decide to put a page in here. I, I turned this into a pocket. Um, so you've got space on all these sides. I don't know why that keeps... It's my fault for tucking it under too soon. So you've got space to add a photo here. Here and here. Tuck them behind. So you can keep three on this page. You can use these for journaling. And then you've got space this side again that's stuck down and it wasn't supposed to i've popped on this gorgeous little paper clip and inside here i just added three little books so you can add a six by four photo here 
there and then there. And I haven't put anything on them, I've just left them plain. And I've got this beautiful brown to match the, the brown in here. The pink goes beautiful with the pink. So in this one, we've got two pink and a brown. And in the other pocket I've done, we've got two brown and a pink. So they can slot back in there. You could add even more to that. That will open right up. So you've got space on there. So that's that pocket. Then we come to this page. I've done a side opening flap with little tuck spot areas. You could also add a photo here. Got some gorgeous tags. You could perhaps slot some photos in there and just pull them out. And again, this one here. And these are... They're a good three and a half inches wide. So you could cut your photos down and get maybe... The length of that then is about four and a half. So you could do a three by four photos in there and just tuck them in these spots. Again, more tags, add little photos on the back or add some plain paper for journaling. Again, more space here and that's the tuck spot. And that's the tuck spot so you can add a full photo there or even just journal. So that's on this flap. And then this I've just left as a whole page. Again, you can tuck behind the little girl to get a photo in there. Another one in there. I'm going to add some more of those tags off that sheet. So they were going to be able to add photos to the back as well. And these gorgeous little tags. I just think it's beautiful. Then we turn over to this page. And we've got a little waterfall mechanism going on. So space for photos didn't tuck. And on the back, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen photographs here. And maybe if you wanted to, you could journal as well. I don't know what that is. You'd be surprised where glue gets. But it all just lays so beautifully and flat. And I've added little strips underneath to coincide. I just had so much fun making this album, it's just beautiful. So who wouldn't want to put their pictures of their newborn baby in here? Now this is a tuck spot area. You can take these off, they're on magnets. And they, whoop, <laughs> they're not very strong magnets, I must admit, but they do spin around. So you could add small photos on the back, or you could have some white paper and journal. So they. And this is a massive belly band, but it lifts off. So you can either journal on these flaps or add small photos. Let me just move them for a minute. And then you, like I say, it's a belly band. So you could take out these bucklets, which are folded over again, so you can add more photos. You've got a pocket here. You've also got a tuck spot area there to add a full photo. But you don't have to just use that as that. You can use this as a belly band like this to get even more photos in there. So keep those in your pockets. I just split them so they come separate. Oops. What's that there? Oh, I don't know what that is, but... better that's gone all the way down this one just needs to tuck in behind they do they're both the same size i just wanted to leave it layered and again you've got space here you can use that as a tuck spot add a photo there loads of space to journal on i just thought it was something different <laughs> so then we turn over to this page and i've done three little pockets here just ah. Uh, you to tuck you could get a photo here you're going to get photos all the way down to the very bottom on this one it goes all the way down so add some booklets in there as well place for a photo on the back i love these tags so we've got a journaling spot here and this goes all the way down as well whoops don't want to lose that but she goes all the way down to the bottom as well 
so there's plenty of space to add photos. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. This one goes all the way to the bottom as well. And I've just placed some tags so you can add some, you could journal here. Love, love, love this page. And again, we've got another pouch pocket, as I call them. Again, you can tuck behind the girl. Just love it. And on the back as well. So space for another four photos. And then inside there, we've got those folding booklets again. So it's four, eight, twelve photos. 13, 14, 15, 16, just in this little pocket. And like I say, you can add more to these because uh, it's just expandable. It just holds so much. And I've added another one of these gorgeous paper clips. I just love it. Absolutely love this album. Then we've done a side pocket. I don't know what's happened to my little horse, but I'm going to have to sort him out. He's so cute. And again, just some photo mats large one there you could get two photos on there and there maybe two small ones on there and there you've got this as a tuck spot area so you may get a small photo under there as well which will tuck in this space and again you can just add these anywhere you want to i just thought they were great so and that does go all the way down to the bottom again like i say tuck spot areas you could even journal on this space. I'm going to sort out my little rocking horse man. Oh, he's so cute. And then we flick this over. And again, I've done a belly band, which you need to remove from the bottom. Nice big photo mat there. You would get a couple of these under there. And I've left that so you can tuck under. So when you use your belly band, you come up from underneath. I reckon you could get three or four of those in there. Maybe three with photos on the back. Use, or use that as a journaling spot and I've added this beautiful thing that says life and then I've just added these as a tuck spot area and this is our back page this is for journaling photos on the back photos here and here and like I say you can still tuck them in just absolutely beautiful so tags as well don't forget to add your photos to the tags and with this one as well, you could photo over the top. Maybe put it on a hinge so you can open it up and uh, so you can still see that wonderful picture. So this is the back page and I've, like I say, just decorated this one nice and neatly. I think it's turned out to be one of the best albums I've done so far. Uh, you wouldn't think it by watching the videos. Later you'll be like, oh my goodness, what a disaster. Some of it was, some of it wasn't, but it was also worth making i absolutely adore it and like i say the space inside there for loads and loads and absolutely loads look at that first page it's huge then your pocket page page pocket page so i just scattered them we've done a beautiful hinge system here i just love it and yeah get yourself another piece of paper or booklets even and add it in the back as well so there is my Vintage Baby Girl uh, mini album. And I've just kept the decoration down to a bare minimum this time. I love the fact that I've used wallpaper and I love this uh, spine. I added because this did crack on me a little bit and you'll see that in the video. But there's always a way to fix things. Absolutely gorgeous. And I absolutely adore it. So I hope you like the video. I do hope you go and get the stuff and make it along with me because that's just the best bit for me knowing that you're right there with me making it all the way so thank you for watching watch out for the next video which will start shortly and i'll see you all soon thank you for watching bye